afflicted lagna afflicted lagna lord what are the indications well we know what happens when planets are afflicted but specifically for the lagna what happens the brain gets corrupted or what right so that's exactly what we are going to discuss but before that you need to understand what's an affl affliction as per astrology so any planet that is conjunct or aspected by at least one natural malefic then that planet is said to be afflicted. So, for example, if Saturn, Mars, uh, Rahu, Ketu, Sun, if these planets are either conjunct or aspecting a particular planet, or in this case, your ascendant is empty and even then they are uh, aspecting the ascendant, even then it's considered to be afflicted. But generally, there is a consensus in the astrology community that one affliction is not like life threatening it's a part and parcel of life the malefics will always be placed somewhere and they will be afflicting some house but if one house or one planet is afflicted by more than more than one which is you know two three or four malefics at least two then the affliction is very serious and it means there are uh, lifelong problems with that house but what happens if that house or that planet is your lagna itself or your lagna lord okay so then these uh, things will happen in your life. But if the overall chart is very strong and just this one lagna or lagnesh is afflicted, these symptoms will still be there, but it will be minimal. Okay, It won't be very visible. But if the overall chart is bad, if the sun, moon uh, and you know uh, the overall chart like you know Atma Karak, 5th Lord, ninth Lord, 5th House, ninth House, if all these are also very badly placed, then... Along with that, if the lagna or the lagnish is badly placed or afflicted, then uh, this is really serious and this will be perpetual and it may never go from your life. All right, so God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you get away from this affliction and you will be able to come out of this. Okay, so do spiritual practices, stabilize yourself and things will be much better. All right. So don't forget to the, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new and don't forget with the thumbs up if you enjoy the content and for personalized horoscope consultations, you can visit my website down below. All right. Number one indication. Oops. Here it is. So number one indication that your lagna or your lagnesh is afflicted. What is it? This is classic. This is gold. You lack sense control. You have no control over your anarthas, lust, anger, greed, envy, pride, illusion. They overpower you. No? Oh, feeling uh, feeling uh, like, you know, enjoying with somebody. Oh, yeah, I don't just watch porn, just masturbate, you know, or, yeah, just hook up with someone, right? Let's be like dogs, okay? So, that's how, if, uh, that, if that is what your attitude is, your lagna is finished, okay? And there's no point of repair unless you take serious action through spiritual practices, okay? Or, you know, okay, smoking, drinking, whatever. Oh, uh, basically, if you just do what you your mind tells you and you have no control, why, why is this important? Because intelligence is here. Intelligence is the word thi, okay? And Jupiter, Mercury gets Digbala in the first house. So, therefore, if your lagna lord or your lagna, lagna is afflicted, and overall, the chart is also very bad. You you will have zero sense control. Okay, so you have to do tapasya and come out of it. Okay, otherwise this will be very bad for you. Okay. Number two, you cannot make a decision. You just cannot. You will you will take. You know, if you go to a hotel to you know, a restaurant to order food, you will take like half an hour. You are like, oh, this is there, that is there. You know, or, or no, or So. Uh, that's very bad because you will waste a lot of time and your uh, your productive time will be out. Okay, so basically why this happens is because you lack courage. Because you know that if you make a particular decision, you have to let go of the other. And it requires a lot of courage to do it. So if your lagna or your lagnesh is smashed, then you will always lack the courage to make a decision. Okay. Number three, this is... This is not just classic. This is gold. You are you you are highly responsible. You you are the least responsible person. So, for example, if your lagna is afflicted, you give your word, and that's it. The Ramayana it said, you know, the Raghukula Rita Sada Chali Ay Pran Jai Paravachanna Jai. Right. So, but you need to understand that you know, this is a very difficult situation. If if you cannot stay true to your word, okay, because uh, 
this is a very 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 difficult situation because nobody can trust you at that time okay so now what can happen is if your lagna is very good but if there are afflictions in that then your ability to stay true to your word will be tested okay it will be very 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 tested now let's take the example of lord ram okay so he has uh, Saturn in the fourth and Mars in the seventh, and they are affecting uh, the lagna. Okay, of course, Ram is Vishnu himself, and all this astrology doesn't matter. But if you try to understand, you know, if you see his horoscope, Jupiter, Moon are in the ascendant, right? So Jupiter is exalted, and Moon is in own sign. So the lagna is very strong, and there's a great planet there, Jupiter. Okay, in exaltation as the ninth lord, stupendous. But because of the affliction. His ability to stay true to his word was tested, okay, very much, okay. But overall, if you see Lord Ram's chart, it's an exceptionally powerful chart, okay. So, uh, even if you see his act activities as a human, you will realize that he could, there was never a time where he gave his word and he, you know, got, he, he ran away from it, okay. But generally, for a normal person, you won't have all the nice things. So, if the Lagna is very badly affected and the Lagnesh is also very badly placed, that's like a doomsday scenario, okay? If you have a friend or somebody who is in that category, better not to depend on that person because that person can say no even after saying yes a thousand times, okay? Number four, this is Rahu behavior. You act fake, okay? So it is fake. So you 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 are very pretentious. Your accent is fake. You know, your your behavior is fake. Everybody can see through it. Okay, and because of that, what happens? Nobody uh, trusts you again because they know you you are not what you are showing. Okay, so therefore, if this is who you are, then you should change it because no, uh, you can be fake sometimes, but ideally never. But if you are fake all the time, if being fake is the original you, then there is no you. Okay, it's only somebody else. So if you are fake perpetually, then then you have lost the race of life, okay? Now, why you are fake? Because you have no substance inside, within. That is why you are faking it. You know, fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. So, that's what Rahu does, okay? So, especially if Rahu is linked to the ascendant, then this happens more, along with other bad uh, situations, okay? Number five, you believe your worldview is all that exists. So my way or the highway, if somebody does not go to my line and then that person is uh, has no has no right to live in this world, that person should perish. This is what you believe. So this can give you extreme high arrogance, you know, extreme, um, extreme level of stupidity, okay, and idiotic behavior. It's like people can see through it and people know, everybody knows that you are doing something utterly stupid. But nobody has the courage to tell you because they know you are stupid enough to not believe in them. Okay, so this is what happens. Okay. Number six, you cannot take good advice. Even if you are doing the worst mistakes and somebody comes and tells you, it's like the Ritarashtra basically, right? The Ritarashtra in the Mahabharat was counseled so many times by Vidur, by Bhishma, Drona, by Krishna, Supreme Personality of Godhead, Swam Bhagwan himself, by Vyasdev, so many times. Not just even once by all of these personalities. So many times Krishna personally came a shanti good, but no, we cannot hear. It's like everything falls in deaf ears, okay? So if people, uh, everybody tells you that you cannot take good advice, uh, even when you are doing the worst blunders, then your lagnish is gone, basically. Number seven, you make bad decisions. And how do you make bad decisions? Without analyzing risk to reward ratio. So, wherever you find a lot of rewards, you just invest there. But you don't calculate how risky it is, okay? Or you play so safe, so safe, so safe that your only thing you have risk and you never get any rewards in life, okay? So, you have to maintain that balance. But if your Agna is bad, then you cannot do it, okay? <clears throat> Number eight, you cannot stick to your decisions. This is, this is like... Um, this is perpetual. You 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 make a decision. You take a decision, and then after some time, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, let's not make it. Yeah, I'll make it again. You know, next New Year or whatever. Okay, 
this is similar to being irresponsible, but this is like, you know, irresponsible, as I said, point number three was in general, okay, you're irresponsible, and this is like, you know, you go back, so suppose you gave your word, now you'll go back, okay, or you'll pro uh, do procrastination, you'll postpone it, okay, for, for no reason, basically. Number nine, you lack leadership and managerial skills. Yes, this is not just the 10th house, this is also the first house. Now, you don't have to be like, you know, a billionaire or, you know, somebody who is managing 1,000 people. No, you don't have to be like that. But in general, you know, if at least there are one or two or three people working under you, you still cannot manage them. Not because you are incompetent, but you cannot, because there are all these problems. You cannot, you know, make a good decision. You cannot uh, give the right kind of work to your subordinates and you know, people feel that you know they are headless when they stay with you okay so this, this is a difficult work last but not the least you lack the power to communicate your thoughts so if you cannot communicate properly what you are thinking so it is it means you you are not understanding your thoughts yourself now when I say communication I am not talking of English or uh, language here okay but in general, there is there is problem in processing your thoughts. So it is at the higher level. It's not just, you know, you cannot speak good English, Hindi or Sanskrit or whatever, okay? Or your vocabulary is less. I'm not saying in that context. But in general, you cannot make people understand. Your, 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 you cannot explain your vision to others, okay? This is, this is a very difficult situation. So then nobody believes in you, okay? So now, what is the cure if you have these problems? So... First, you should do austerities, you know, do fasting, uh, get into a vegetarian diet, do spiritual practices and try to maintain, you know, your small, try to take small commitments and maintain them. Like, you know, if you are speaking lies all the time, take a vow that I will not speak any lie for one day, then two days, three days, four days, five days, then one week, then one month, okay, then two months, three months, like that. One year you take a vow, I will not speak any lie. Okay, no matter what happens. Depending on the situation, of course, not to be fanatical, but not to hide. Okay, so, and then uh, when you achieve these targets, you will gain confidence and, you know, you will uh, you will actually be become more confident and you will feel more uh, about, you, you will feel more energetic and you will feel that, yes, now I can actually do what I should do and I should stick to my work. Okay, and uh, you can take courses on assertiveness, you can take courses on leadership, you know, so learn and upgrade your skills and be confident, okay? So this is how you can deal with this. Otherwise, this is a lifelong problem. This may never go away unless you treat it, all right? Thank you so much. Please take care. Jai Siya Ram.